porch paste on denim? And the answer is, yes, you sure can. Come on in and join me while we work on a jean jacket. We are gonna be using an adhesive stencil. Um, it does have a mesh screen, but you are able to use vinyl as well. And we're gonna just go ahead, we're gonna open our torch paste, and I'm gonna squeegee on a little bit. That's probably going to be a little bit too much, but we'll start there. And we're just gonna squeegee it on. And because it's fabric, it's gonna absorb right in. So we don't have to necessarily wait the two to three minutes that we normally would when we are using torch paste on wood. So we're gonna go ahead, use the squeegee. Um, I find the squeegee works best with um, reusable silk screen stencils. If you're working with vinyl, you could also use a, a brush and just dab it on if you wanted to do that that way as well. All right, maybe that fabric really does absorb, I guess. So it's absorbing it right in. So on underneath here is just my work surface. And so if you are at a surface that's not a work surface, um, you wanna make sure that you have a barrier between you and the surface because it's fabric and the torch paste is very likely to bleed right through. We are going to use the heat gun today to burn the design into the jean jacket. I'm just making sure that I have all the crevices because this is a highly detailed stencil and I wanna make sure I have all the beauty in here. This is going to be a fun project. All right, and again, we're going to remove all the excess paste. We don't wanna leave globs on there because it will just bubble. So we, a little tiny bit is all you need. So now I'm gonna scrape and remove the excess and put it right back into our container. Look at that. See, a very little tiny amount goes a long way, my friends. This jar will have dozens and dozens of projects. All right, I think I have it all. So when I lift my stencil up, I'm just going to keep an eye and make sure that I got all the little pretty um, bits on here. So I'm just gonna pull it up slow and, make, and I hope you guys can see this okay. It just looks dark. There's a little orange tint to it. We're just gonna pull this right up. And because it's fabric, we don't have to let it absorb. We don't have to wait. We can just go right ahead and start using our heat gun. So there you are, look at that. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. So now what I like to do is I have this old piece of wood and I always use this underneath anything that I'm burning. And so it's probably about two inches thick and it's just gonna protect my work surface from the burn because this is going to get hot. So I recommend that you use wood. Wood is a great insulator and I have it lying around, right? <laughs> So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that what I'm burning is on top of that wood piece. I'm gonna take my heat gun. I do have mine on high, my friends. I always, I work on high. So you can control your heat gun how far away from the fabric that you are, okay? And you're gonna see that this is gonna start burning almost immediately. If it doesn't start burning immediately, then you just need to warm up your heat gun. So, you know, maybe put it up out, you know, away from you, away from anything that's gonna burn and just let it, allow it a minute maybe to warm up. And then you'll see instant results. Okay, can you see that? 
it's drying the heat paste right or the torch paste right now and I am just going to slowly go over the torch paste until it starts to burn now see I'm controlling the distance so what is when I get close it starts burning right away and I just want the design to burn so I want to be very careful that I don't burn the surrounding jean jacket so we're doing a little bohemian today I do have a nice little sugar skull that I I, I just need to put that on a jacket also because I, I think that'll be quite fun. All right, see that? And it's burning right in there now. Does it degrade the, the fabric? It does to a, a degree, my friends, because it is actually burning the design right into the fabric. It is washable. After I do this, I'm going to wash it. I'll either um, line dry it or I'll put it in the dryer and I'll show you what it looks like. So there you go. Again, if you go closer, it burns quicker. Closer, it burns quicker. Just like that. Now it fades just as soon as it starts drying out. You're going to see that the design goes kind of like a mat, right? It's no longer glossy, but it's a matte. So you want just want to be mindful where your design is so that you can just burn it right on there. Because it may be a little difficult to see. This is going to be real time burning this large design, real time. So that'll give you an idea of how long it should take you to actually burn the fabric can see it doesn't take too long at all. We just have a very large design. And I do have an example of a shirt that I've done and I've worn and washed it probably a good 35 times now. And I'll show you what that looks like once we have this done. It washes and wears very, very well. Now, if you really want to have a, a real worn look, then you could actually burn around the design too, you know, to give it like a nice weathered look. Now, you don't want to burn it all the way through, so you want to have a garment left. So just be mindful, and I recommend doing a test fabric first. So some jeans or something that you don't care if um, if you mess up a little bit or make it a little uh, more rustic or worn, always use a test piece. Just to get a feel for how far you need to be away from the fabric. And now I'm just gonna move the fabric because remember the wood is underneath here to absorb the heat because it's really hot. Now this is just, this is a fun way of doing it with your heat gun. You can really control the amounts that you, if you want one area darker than the other, you can really control it with a heat gun. Another video that I'll be posting is we'll be using the heat press because you are able to use the heat press. With the heat press, there's um, a, a couple of little nuances. So make sure if you are going to use your heat press, watch that video before you use it. All right, so we're almost halfway through the design. Maybe we're over a little halfway there. And you can see it was a good 18 inch, 18 inches, I think by maybe 10 inches. And I'm just gonna move that over a little bit further. There we go. Am I moving that right out of there? Okay. <laughs> Don't wanna move it right out of the frame. So let's see here. Yep, okay. Ta-da! There we go. Just keep that 
heat gun moving. Keep it moving. Want to keep your fingers away from it. Make sure you have a barrier underneath there. I'll show you what it looks like inside and out after it cools down. Gives it just a nice rustic look. Ages it up nicely. It's gonna be gorgeous. I can't wait to wear it this fall. I want to make sure you get all the design. There it is. It's getting a little, uh, little difficult for me to see where the pattern is. It's just a light orange. So I want to make sure that I get every detail. So I'm going to go back over it maybe a little bit just to make sure that I have it. I have all the details. There we are. Look at that, my friends. Now I'm just gonna come up here a little bit because I want this kind, I want it kind of weathered all the way around. So I'm just gonna show you, just gonna take the heat gun and go over the jean jacket a little bit here, a little bit there. go around now you can see I missed a spot right there but I'm gonna say that that's okay I'm gonna leave it gonna leave it all right so this is a nice light brown so versus um, when you're burning the wood the wood is a nice black and it burns right into the wood this is a brown which I like I like that look I'm going to make sure that I have all the areas right here. I will wash the jacket. I recommend that after you use this on fabric to wash it. All right. So that is there. There we are. Let's turn that off. Set that right over there. And now our piece is done. Take a look at that. How nice. Do you like it? I hope that you do. I hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you did, please leave it a, th a thumbs up. That would be wonderful. Now this is the inside, my friends. I want to show you what it looks like on the inside. There it is. So it didn't burn all the way through, okay? You can't poke your finger through it or anything. So it, the jean jacket is still intact. Just like that it is warm there you go now I want to show you the whoop, the t-shirt oh don't mind my little puppies if you can hear them all right so that's super hot but I want to show you the t-shirt that I did now this was on a blend this was on um, a cotton blend and I used the heat gun for this one as well and again, I have washed and worn this about 35 times. So you can see that it, it wears very well. It washes well, wears well. Let me turn it uh, inside out for you. Because this was a lighter material, a thinner fabric, it did burn through. But it, did, it compromised the fabric just a little bit You can it, where it's a little bit thinner, but there are no holes. So make sure that you always test the fabric um, before you go in for a full design because uh, you can definitely tell the difference between the fabrics, how thin they are. But the jean is going to be absolutely fantastic. So... Thank you, my friends, and make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more interesting ways to use torch paste, the original wood-burning paste on denim. <laughs> Thank you.